If you have one of these, the Techlast F5, and you had it for a while, and this happened to your battery, it got swollen and stopped holding a charge, you might want to check out this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Hardware Sense channel. My name is Ivan, and today we are doing a quick tutorial how to replace your battery on the Techlast F5. One of my favorite compact computers for the last couple of years, actually. Um, I bought this three, three and a half years ago. If you guys been with my channel for a while, you've seen the video, the original one. Uh, pretty comparable little laptop for traveling to kind of do your work on, on the go, browse, com consume some media uh, that converts into a tablet. But after all these years and me using it constantly, uh, the battery uh, got swollen and stopped holding charge. So it was lasting 20 minutes, sometimes even less. And because the body is so thin, it was lifting up the keyboard and I noticed that thing first. So I had to disassemble and check it out. And uh, unfortunately the battery is uh, completely toast and I'm glad that it didn't explode because this is what happens to the batteries when they swell. They kind of rupture, catch on fire, something you don't want to see. So I found one on eBay and I decided to purchase it so I can replace it and show it to you how it's done. So let's get into the video real quick and you gotta see how easy it's done. So after over three years, uh, the Techlast F5 is still in my possession. So I was using it for my main travel device because it's so light and it still offers a lot of functionality. So after removing all the screws around, there's no screws underneath the legs, luckily. And you gotta remove uh, the little door here where the uh, NVMe drive uh, stays. You have to take that off as well. This is the 128 gigabytes NVMe drive that comes with it. Uh, put them to the side and then plastic prior with plastic tools around. The metal uh, lid comes pretty easily and you can take it off to the side. And underneath you will see the battery. That's the original battery and I will show you uh, the problem with it. Uh, we will see, hopefully the camera picks up how much bulging is on that battery. So that battery has swollen on both of its cells, on both sides, and you'll see when I pressed uh, how it is, uh, you know, kind of like a pillow. So that's kind of a hazard, not only because the battery is bad, it's not holding enough charge, but it might catch on fire and, you know, your whole house catches on fire and all that stuff. So um, it, the sooner, as soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, I need to replace that battery. Uh, and I went ahead, looked for that part number, on eBay because you know it's kind of hard to find these uh, Chinese you know made uh, laptops and one of the companies uh, came as this one look like an okay uh, company so I bought one of the batteries and uh, it says two years warranty I don't know how you're gonna claim that but anyway uh, the battery is around uh, $50 so it's not the cheapest but again you don't have much of an options comes well packed in this foam so inside let me see if I can open it um, Again, like well protected in this anti-static bag. Let me open it and see and compare it. Here it is. This is the replacement battery. You'll see how this one is completely flat compared to this one. If we put them side by side, you see how this one is bulging on the top and this one is completely flat. There's no issues whatsoever. Again, two cells, um, same connector. Hopefully it will be everything the same. Here we have a little bit more information, 3,500 milliamp hours, 26 and 0.6 watt hours, voltage up to 7.6, where here it says 7.7. .7. I don't think that would be a problem. Limited charge, 8.7 volts. This is how the battery is gonna go right here. Before you screw the four screws that are for the battery, you need to remember to plug in this little battery connector here, which is really easy to plug. Uh, they really made this uh, laptop uh, easy to maintain, honestly, inside. And then we have to kind of bend the cables around so that we can screw the battery in place. And actually, while I was doing this, I noticed they put a nice uh, metal heat sinks over the processor. Uh, so that's really nice. And one of the reasons I really like this laptop for traveling and stuff like that, especially, or even using in bed at night, is because there's no fans, it's passive cooling, so it's completely silent. So just like that, we plug the battery, make sure that it's completely uh, plugged in, and then I'm gonna screw these one, two, three, four, five screws right here. I have one of these old uh, eight hard drive caddies that I'm actually using as a divider. Divide uh, the sections of the different screws locations. Uh, this way it's a lot easier to just go ahead and uh, put them exactly where they belong. So, 
you're not wandering and looking around. So just like that, I have the battery reconnected, plugged in nice and tight, screwed all the five screws on the battery. You see it's very nice and flat now. It's not bulging like this one. This one expanded its, uh, his battery cells too much and actually was lifting up the keyboard, touching the screen um, and kind of warped the whole body. So I was, you know, that's the first thing I noticed and I was very curious why is this happening? So, you know, the conclusion obviously was the battery problematic. But luckily they're still offered uh, online if you have this still, you have this Techlast F5 in your possession and you're uh, you know, wondering, hey, what should I do? Uh, the battery is going really bad. Just go ahead and grab one of those batteries. Uh, you know, this is not sponsored by this maker and I found it on eBay, but there are different companies that make uh, batteries for the F5 and you can buy any of them. So from here, really easy. Just reattach your a lid back on, you know, press it on all corners. Put all the screws, uh, put your NVMe drive back in, close the lid and off we go. And uh, we'll test and see how long this battery is going to last. But again, my expectations are about the same as the original one, four, four and a half hours. Uh, you know, not the greatest battery life, but still plenty if you're on a road somewhere like on the airport and you are trying to do some work. So that's a quick tutorial how to replace the original battery of the Teclas F5. This one, I'm gonna try to find an e-waste uh, place around me so I can go and uh, give it there for proper for storage or kind of this discursion. So uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm a bit afraid that this is my catch on fire, uh, but yeah. So that, that's pretty much it, quick conclusion. All right, conclusion time. So yes, it's extremely easy with the F5 to remove the back uh, cover get access to the battery, unscrew it with five screws and just simply disconnect, plug in the new one and off you go. And now I'm happy to report, I'm back on uh, three and a half, four hour battery life with the new battery. Obviously it's not uh, prone to explode, it's not bulging. Uh, everything is nice and easy. Uh, is it worth the $50? Yeah, absolutely. If you're planning to use that computer for a long period of time and you're still planning to take it on the road or keep it in bed and just browse, um, I really like the passive cooling on this one. That's why it's one of my top choices uh, be, uh, to travel with and keep it, you know, in the environments where I'm uh, really conscious about producing a lot of noise. Definitely worth it. So if you want to do this change on your own, it's extremely easy. Just follow the video. That's pretty much it, guys. If you want to support this channel, check out the link on the description below. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Next video is coming up on a very uh, nice laptop that I'm sure a lot of you will be interested about. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.